I'm going to invite my top panel to join me on the stage. Could I have for best agency credentials, David Wood, Steve Parrish, and Philippa Snare. Great. What we thought we'd do is, um, I'm going to introduce these guys to you, but what we would do is actually tell you a little bit about the best great agency credentials and why we thought they were really good. Um, David Wood is the Group Managing Director for Health and Wellness Division at Tesco. It's a very long title. Very recently appointed there, before that was the CMO of marketing. Um, and Philippa Snare is the Chief Marketing Officer of Microsoft. In 2000, Philippa joined Microsoft in MSN and grew online services by 300%. And Steve Parrish, uh, been a great friend of mine for a long time. Um, everyone knows him. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I was at his wonderful football club on Sunday, and I can, we can all smile because you won. At last, exactly. <laughs> but many of you will know that he was also the very successful founder and chief exec of, of TAG. So, when we had this category, we, we don't give the clients the, the actual criteria. They choose them themselves. Um, so we had a look at all the things that were important to you for this particular category, and you came up with five. The first one was culture. Does per perception reflect reality? The second one was innovation. Are they innovative? Do they give a kind of feeling of something other than a boring credentials? Positioning, is there a really clear idea? Experience, we talk a lot about, you know, and I know you as agencies talk about how important is it that you've got the relevant experience, and you all said it was pretty important. And simplicity. So, Philippa, tell me, tell me of those which one of them was particularly important for you. Um, so, I, um, you'll see this online when I talk about it, but I think culture and a fit for the company um, and for the people you work with is one of the most important things. Um, and then I'd, I'd quickly add to culture experience, but I don't mean experience in... Um, uh, in have you done a lot of stuff that proves that you can do what you say you're going to do. I was looking for the experience of have you delivered the outcomes that, that kind of clients have asked um, of that particular brief or that campaign and, um, and could you clearly articulate what the outcomes were. So the culture and the delivery was really important to me. Steve, what about you? Yeah, I suppose with my background, you know, I was, I was looking for simplicity. I think... You've got to grab people's attention with these things. People get so much material sent at them, either through email or through the door. It's really important that, that you grasp people's attention quickly. And also, I guess, from my background, I think, you know, you've got to cover the basics. You know, I think if you're, gonna, you're an agency and you're, you know, you're sending a piece of work, essentially, to somebody, you know, you need, you need it to be a, a good piece of work. You know, it needs, in and of itself, to look nice. I think it's important, though, that the the thing that you're trying to use to grab somebody's attention doesn't overcome the message that you're trying to get in it. Yeah. I mean, there, there, was, there was one example that we had was a beautifully prepared board game, which I'm sure if I happened to be somebody who was looking for somebody to make a board game, would have been absolutely <laughs> spot on. Um, but as a general kind of cred, it was, you know, by the time we'd unpacked it all and looked at it all and tried to make head nor tail of it, it you know, it, it was a bit much, really. So I think you can try too hard with these things. And... You'll see, I think, from, from, the, from the ones that we've selected, really simple messaging on the front page that, that explains eloquently what it is that the business thinks that they're able to do for you and just simplistically beautiful pieces of work that display the work that the agencies have produced in the best light and some real love that's, that's yeah. gone into them. So yeah. I think they were the things that were important you for me. You were quite obsessed with quality of paper. I did notice that. Well, I think there were some things. I mean, disappointingly, there were some where, you know, typographically and design-wise, they were just poor, you know, and I think if you're an advertiser, you know, it's not just a question, oh, let's get something out the door. You know, if, it's, if, if you can't send somebody something that's a decent quality of, of, of work from a production design typographical point of view, then you're probably best not sending anything, I would yeah. suggest, at that point. You worry about the, the attention to detail if you yeah. get it. Yeah, I can understand that. David, do you share that? Uh, what, Steve's OCD? <laughs> <laughs> None no, of the I just, I just observed, I just observed from afar on the day. Um, I, I, I think my only build on, on both, both comments really would be, and not surprising for a humble shopkeeper, is just the evidence. 
So just understanding a little bit more about the results. So has the work actually delivered against the objectives? Has it actually you know, built brand value? Has it grown the business in the way that you wanted to? You know, wanted to? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to run a quick film now for the short list. So our shortlist, our antidote, Iris and VCCP. Tell me a little bit about what you saw that you, you liked from those particular ones and why you shortlisted them. I think uh, going back to what we said, I think the clarity um, in this is what we've done, this is the results it drove. It was very accessible to be able to, um, to get to that um, information quickly. Um, it was actually a pleasant experience going through it. I have... Uh, a hot desking environment. If I have a post, like, you know, in traditional snail mail type of way, um, uh, often that will go in the bin. Uh, yeah. And so these ones uh, were ones that I know wouldn't make it, that kind of would make it through that um, uh, challenge, first of all, and make it to, to whatever desk I might be sitting on on that day. Um, and I could f easily flick through and get to the point of it very quickly. Yeah, so flicking through, not getting in the bin, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. What about you, Steve? Yeah, I think, you know, all three gave an impression of forward-thinking, integrated, modern agencies, and, and I think they did the thing that a lot of agencies don't do well, which is they communicated to their clients well. You know, they, they put their best foot forward. You know, this is how we're going to communicate to you. Imagine how we'll communicate to your customers. And, and as David said, really good case studies... And, and proved that they were given a problem, they came up with a solution to the problem, not just a nefarious idea that, that looked nice, and then some hard results at the end of it. So, and made with love, all of them were really beautiful pieces of work. Yeah, yeah. David, anything to add on that? No, I, I, I would agree, and I think, um, I think the empathy point, you know, the ability of all three um, finalists to really put themselves in the client's shoes in terms of receiving this, but, you know, levels of confidence, um, you know, in the proposition and, and also, um, you know, in some particular instances, and I'll, I'll call VCCP on this, I thought bravery in terms of the structure they set up because it's a quarterly bulletin. Yep. So it makes, you know, their more recent work, the more prominent work, you know, it really challenges them to consistently deliver great work. So I thought that was a good and smart move by VCCP in particular. Okay, so just before we announce the winner, can you just give us one thing that you thought was great in general about creds and one thing was really annoying and awful? About the winners or the, the particular General, winner? Just, the whole just, just generally. Um, I think that, as I said, you know, I think it needs to be an eye catching piece of work. You know, if you're going to present your work, you need to do it in the best light. And I think the, the worst examples were those that, you know, were poorly printed, poorly designed, didn't inspire you to even want to open them. And as Philippa said, you know, you get so many things through your door. You know, wh why are you going to open anything that's substandard when there's so many beautiful things that, you know, you can look at and read and, and, and admire? So I think that's a, you know, your, your hygiene factor, your number one thing that you need to work on with creds. Philippa? Uh, one good thing, um, the fine, like, I think there was a high quality bar that came in, in general. Um, uh, it, even the game was like, there was a lot of production value Certainly in there. Um, <laughs> the, the bad thing, and I'll go back to what I said, is um, they were all very traditional. Um, I, I, I don't have a desk Doing mail drops on my desk is almost testament to work, like po pointless now. So trying to find cut through um, when you don't have um, a permanent desk anywhere, um, just think about it. It would be great if everybody did. Yeah, good. So, David, can you announce the winner and tell us why they've won? I, I can, and I'm very privileged to announce the winner. Um, <clears throat> I guess collectively four things um, sprung to mind for us. The first was the unequivocal care and creation attention that was given 
um, to this particular document. Two, it was very consumer centric. It came through in the work, it came through in the commentary, really, really clear. And I, and I think uh, an agency that's not just really, really proud of their work, they were incredibly proud of the clients that they work for. And, and finally, you know, very, very results focused. So lots of evidence in there on, on all of the case studies that were in the proposition. So um, to give you a little bit of a clue, um, this is a business that believes they build participation brands. So our winner is Iris.